Today we're going to explore Prater Park, which is a huge park near the uh, river. We're using the subway today. I've only used it once before, so it's kind of like my first day. Yeah, the rest of the time I walk. And my goal is to pretty much wander the length of it, which appears to be a north-south axis and look at some of the notable things in the park. The most notable is this large Ferris wheel, which I won't be going on a big, but it doesn't have the elegance of either the Chinese new one or the Paris Ferris wheel. Looks like the kids park over there. The one thing you can say about it, it is big, as are those boxcar-like containers for we humans. The elaborate playground for kids. <laughs> That's great. All part of a large entertainment center, including our Ferris wheel. I think we go on a north-south axis. Should be somewhere in that direction. But we'll go out there first if I can find something to eat. It's slowly revolving right now. Reminds me of a Eiffel Tower on wheel uh, with some railroad boxcars attached. This looks like something giants would make from Tinker Toys. It sure is an edifice. Just a good look at the different rides. The engineering on things like this would seem to be interesting. And notice this one has curves but it slopes you into the curves or out of them. This one has curves but they keep you on the flats which means you really go through some torque. Forces must be incredible coming down through here. It'd be a trip and a half with that. Wow. <laughs> and something rather tame just rocks you back and forth. Probably a hyper version of how it feels on some of those big gondolas I was on. And this is their little Puffer Billy, actually, it's an old steam miniature train. The Lilliputian Bon. They're one with a water feature. I'm sure they splash you into the water. Great drama. It's probably an indoor roller coaster. So you can't get your bearings. That really scares you, like the ones at Disneyland. The interplay of lines is interesting. mining operation of some sort. Reminiscent of our western mines. Here we're on a third street and going into another completely different large area. Oh, the fun on bumper cars. Here, a smaller Ferris wheel. This one's interesting. I can't tell whether it just swings you in a doozy of a 180 degree vertical curve or more. Pretty obvious what this is. Kind of interesting to reflect on how on the great lengths we will go to to scare the living crap out of ourselves in our modern age when we also have ISIS. But this makes it a direct appeal to our primitive senses I'm sure. The interesting when big data can demonstrate how people choose which ride to go on and how often and which age group and all that sort of thing. I'd be a bit surprised if this is a 360 spin. It's got to be a trip, doesn't it? The fair amount of redundancy of a kind of ride, which is indicative of the huge population that takes advantage of this. How do you keep some fools arms inside. Probably just to scare the crap out of your vertical drop. And here a go-kart race track. I wonder if these rides are owned by one person, one company, whether individuals create an idea and somehow create a business of one of these. And you have to imagine what it costs to build one of these things. Now this is 
We can see this is going to put you through some terrific torques. Got those same kind of safety seats that you are ensconced within. They must be pretty expensive to build, maybe what, four or five for the whole world? Or am I missing the opportunity? I just keep walking in a southerly direction and it continues on. Magnificent place for kids and families to come and have fun, particularly the millennials in their millennial world of experiential. <laughs> Daytona Beach. But imagine, on the other hand, as I do, if you were an individual who owned a little kiosk here that was supposed to be a real fun experience and you did it every single day wouldn't you get to be cynically bored just pass the management and the operation off to hirelings here we're at an intersection i'll just pan through so you can see that it's kind of a tacky version of a disney park but it does the job like i say redundancy over and over again collective noise must be mind-boggling which in the context probably adds to it. And then, alas, the park. These are the tracks, I believe, of our Lilliputian steam train on one of the major arteries through the park. No doubt a royal enclave tremendous resource for the people that live nearby for relaxation, exercise. Reminds me, I think, of some of the huge parks in China and in some of the Balkan countries. These parks, of course, represent huge tracts of land set aside for the pleasure of the king or the noble person and their entourage. Mind-boggling, the arrogance. There's a certain irony that here within several hundred yards of that huge entertainment complex the park has provided this for parents and kids that want a little more calm and control. One of the interesting forms of transportation I've noticed are people on scooters. There's a mother with her daughter. I've seen older men cruising down the street. You can get a scooter that's electrical motorized, I think. What I mean by that is that you power it for a bit, it uh, gains momentum or ex enough energy to run this little motor for a bit and use it back and forth. All age groups, and they fold up, take them on the bus. Over here looks like a large synthetic but or well-maintained soccer field. No dogs, right on. I wonder if this once was a field where the nobility uh, held either parades, mock battles, mock hunts, whatever their imagination conjured. And here a water feature looking just a tad bit polluted. It appears there's some kind of critters living in it. It's like a little coot of some sort. Now I'll climb this massive hill. I think that means you're not supposed to ride up and down on the handrails. I wonder if there's any association between that little knoll and this curious depression on this look, looks like purposely flattened plateau. I would imagine this park has everything. Tennis courts, huge soccer field complex if that's what that is. <laughs> now it looks like they have a baseball diamond. At least they got a home plate. I assume you can do something to, to find the other bases. <laughs> also a running track. I've wandered away from that axis at a diagonal across the park just so I can see what's over on this side. Again, many, many areas for kids. There are certain places where you can take your dogs comfortably, but always on a leash. Over on this side of the park, Nothing but industry, so I'll return 
follow the main axis, I guess. Interesting design for a cluster of buildings. <laughs>